Hey campers, um, so as with our other video, again, I'm going to explain, I do not know where the time went, so I'm filming this one today too, because I need room on my phone, and it is Christmas Eve, and it has been two months since we've been to Macintosh Manor in Townsend, Georgia. Um, we have been trying to film this intro, we have lost time between holidays and birthdays and sicknesses and yada yada yada, you know, everything that goes on this time of year. But anyways, uh, Macintosh Manor in Townsend, Georgia. We stopped there on our way back from Florida. Um, the park is absolutely gorgeous. Like they truly have beautiful trees and beautiful Spanish moss like everywhere. Um, it is a very small park. Um, they claim to have 10, 10 sites um, on their website. I feel like we saw nine, um, but I think there are 10 sites and a cabin. At one point they did rent out the manor or parts of it like a b and kind of thing. Right now it is not being rented, um, but I do know it is for sale, so there's a possibility it would be rented in the future, um, but not sure on that. Either way, we walked the entire park. They do have laundry on site. Um, it was free, I believe, which is kind of crazy. Um, they did not have I'm correct here. They did not have public restrooms, so you did need to be fully contained. Um, but the lady who took care takes care of the place. Um, she's not the owner, but she stays there in the manor, and she was very friendly, very helpful. Uh, we arrived there. We only had a one night stay, so we really didn't like get a full feel. Um, there were quite a few that seemed to stay there on a more permanent basis. I wouldn't say permanent sites, but um, long term basis, and then. We did walk through the cabin, you'll see that as well. The cabin was super cute, really nice outdoor area as well. Um, yeah, we really enjoyed it. There wasn't much to do in the area, but there were a few restaurants and stuff, you know, within 15 to 30 minutes or so if you wanted to explore. Um, there was not like a playground or anything at the park itself. So it's not necessarily a place you'd stay with kids, I don't think. Um, but it is definitely a great layover spot, or if you're just wanting a peaceful spot, it is absolutely serene and beautiful. So, anyways, um, I, with that being said, I will let you watch the walk around. If you have any questions on it, please, please feel free to ask, um, and we will answer if we can. And, as always, thank you for watching. Okay campers, so today we have made a quick stop on the way from Florida back to North Carolina um, here at McIntosh Manor RV Park and Campground in Townsend, Georgia. So we'll walk you around. I want to camp with you. All right, so here we are at the beginning of Macintosh Manor. I just want to show you this tree, and these are all throughout the park. It's super duper gorgeous, guys. Um, very quiet. It is just right off the highway, um, 95. So it's really easy, quick stop. <clears throat> but anyway, so here's the manor. And this is um, an Airbnb, but right now I believe the camp host is staying in there. Um, but you can always check that out if that's something you're interested in. And we'll walk this way. They have a nice website with some pictures of the manor inside. They heard you. I don't have to repeat it. I said they heard you. I don't have to repeat it. Usually they can hear you. I oh, know. I oh, know. So this is the second entrance. If you're entering with an RV, this is the entrance you're going to want to take. Obviously, so that you have... Yeah, depending on which direction you're coming from, I guess. Um, but she was very helpful when we called and asked, you know, if we had plenty of room for our site and or for our rig and our truck and all that. So now, we'll walk this way. The pictures and video and stuff do it absolutely no justice. These trees are just beautiful. The grounds are very well maintained, very well kept. 
Um, there's a little community area there with swings. This is the back side of the manor. I'll show you as we're walking over here. So, we'll walk over here. I'm going to kind of do all this in one video because there are only 10 um, RV sites. So this way, you can just kind of see it all in one. The longer parks, I try to separate it out. But Alright, so there's some swings. Right now is the middle of October. Just to kind of give you an idea of when we are here so you can see what it looks like this time of year some more of that beautiful spanish moss their laundry facility is very clean um, there's a window unit air conditioner so it is cooled and it's free um, you just got to bring your own laundry supplies but she said you can do laundry all day every day whatever you want to do so that's very nice. Aubrey's going to open the door for us here. All right. Turn on some lights. All right. So like I said, they have washers and dryers. Two washers, two dryers, a folding table, some chairs, a TV, and it is air conditioned like I said. So now we'll head back out to show you the rest of the campground. Yep. We opened it in there, dear. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Go this way. Sitting area. We're going to go backwards. Oh, you're gonna walk oh okay. Do the sitting area. All right. And then to site one. So over here is the community fire pit. Um, they have it all lit up around here. I'm going to try and get a picture of this later tonight because I think it's probably super duper pretty with all those lights. And if I do, I'll insert it here. And they do have 10 acres, so a lot of that is just empty right there. And all of the RV sites are near the back. So where you heard the noise in the beginning, I know that might have been a little bit alarming, but you're all the way at the back and you can't really hear it too much back here. All the sites are full hookup um, and they require you to use your own bathroom facilities. So they do not have a bathhouse. So this here on the left is site one. All the sites are very long. We have plenty of room in ours. That's site one right there. And you can see at the back, they still have a good amount of room and they all have a decent amount of shade with all these beautiful trees. I'm not sure about how they decided to do their measurements. Our site said good for a 45 foot unit. Yeah, and it's way, it's way harder than that. <laughs> um, So this is site number two. And this is our site. So I'll walk you around just so you can kind of see it since I can in this one. So we're in site number three. We'll go back on this side. You can see. And I mean, we just parked it quickly because we're only here for the night, so. But we still have plenty of room over on this side. And then as you walk towards the back, they do have a picnic table for you. A little grassy area in behind. I'll walk back here further so I can kind of get a better view. <clears throat> All right, so without getting the sunlight too much, you can see we have a bunch of room back here. So I'm gonna stick my foot. Um, 
and we have one of those beautiful trees overhanging our camper. Super duper pretty. Very well shaded. Then you come to this side and you see we got all our slides out. Plenty of room on this side for your hookups um, and everything like that. I am going to walk back around this side though so I don't trip over the hoses. You caught me. <laughs> I was, but I didn't want to trip over the hoses. All right, so I'll turn back around, coming around this side so you can get a better view of that. So yeah, like I said, plenty of room. We've got our truck with plenty of room. We still could have pulled the camper back even further if we felt like getting out the longer hoses and all that stuff. All right, so that's site number four. We may have one of the more narrow sites, but... Well, I'm kind of confused about this one, because if that's four, then what's that other camper over there? Four and a half? This is, yeah. <laughs> this is not really sure. They may have squeezed an extra. Yeah, extra so they may have an extra one in there. I'm not sure if that's... Maybe 4.5. Exactly. Yeah, it might be 4.5. All right, that's... That, you can insert that. Site number five. And I'll look, I'll show you what's across for your view. This is all just an open area with pretty trees and they have Halloween decorations out now. At last you are here. Come closer. I will escort you into the shadows of the night. <laughs> all right. This is site number six. The children love the decorations. Site number seven. Yeah. Site number eight. Yeah, they're all like, very wide. Yeah. Plenty of room. Number nine. And this last one is site number ten. <clears throat> And then over here in the corner, we have not gotten a chance to go in there yet, but I believe we're going to try and take a tour of it. Um, and if I do, I'll insert the tour after this. But this is a cabin that they have for rent. I'm not exactly sure on all of the details, um, but I will walk you around it because I do think it's extremely pretty. All right, so they... Yeah, it's on the website as well. Airbnb. So they have a yard there. I didn't go over any of that yet. So these are the swings. Yeah, you can sit on the swings. I'm sorry about the sun, I'm really trying. <laughs> Alright, so they have a little enclosed porch area back here. Like I said, I'm going to try to go inside so you can see it in more detail. I know I went around the back. Um, but yeah, they have a yard back here as well. It's obviously an older cabin, but it looks like they've you know, maintained it. Obviously, if they're renting it out, they have. Um, but yeah, so this is the side yard for that. So again, there's no campers on the side of you or anything. Um, and then you got another one of those beautiful trees. All right, so this would be the front porch there. So 
you definitely wouldn't need to worry about the weather. You've got plenty of seating outside that's covered. And then here they are, sitting by the swings here. So this would be where you would get up under the porch. And sit here and swing. They have a barbecue grill. Oh, I just walked through a spider web. And a fire pit. And that's it. Like I said, we'll try to take a tour and I'll insert that here if we do. Okay, so that is the end of our tour here at McIntosh Manor in Townsend, Georgia. As always, thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. All right, here we go. So, as I mentioned, they do have this on Airbnb. Um, this is a two-bathroom cottage. It's got a little screened-in porch with two Adirondack chairs, two Papa Sons, a fan. Looks pretty comfy. Really comfy. Um, the kitchen is fully stocked. Aubrey, can you find the lights for me right there? Uh, she said the kitchen is fully stocked with everything you would need. I'll try to come around here so I can get a good angle. They do have a table over there by the window, a TV, a brand new futon there, fridge. Oh, this is neat. Look at that ladder. So there's the ladder goes up to the loft so there's a loft up there you probably shouldn't climb that umbrella Why? and then here is the bathroom oh goodness okay shh, 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 shh. all right so here's one bathroom sorry about that hey come over here please with a stand-up washer and dryer and a shower and look I, I really thought I was gonna walk into a mirror and here here's another bathroom um, there's another toilet and another stand-up shower and another sink and so this one goes around this way into the bedroom it has a nice armoire or dresser um, looks like a queen size bed. Yeah, horsies. Um, and then you go through here. And this is going to take you back out to the living room. And then out front is the porch that I showed you earlier. Very nice. Very clean. I like it, guys. Definitely would be a good place to rent. It's very pretty. Very peaceful. You saw the yard, um, the swings and stuff out front with the fire pit. Very pretty. What's it look like out there, Aubrey? That's what I said, fire pit. I heard fire pit. Oh, my goodness. All right, we're going to try and walk up there. Since Aubrey's not going to tell me what it looks like. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, goodness. It is very pretty. No, you cannot. There's a little couch. And, and a bed is a little seat and a little seat over there there's this little stool they have over here very nice very nice here's the here's the look from up above guys in case you wanted to see this might give you a better bird's eye view but yeah one second boogie butt all right so i would definitely check it out again this is their Airbnb cabin at McIntosh like Manor in Townsend, Georgia. What do you think, Doodle? You like it?
campers, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and hit the like button. And hit that bell. Hit.